Welcome to this case study going through the ISO 710 and we request to audit the UCO and response to the partner's comment. Now, so uh, the partner says we are auditing the uh, S company for the very first time and the prior period financial statements were audited by another firm. So in other words, this is not the first time that the client's company is subject to audit, but it's the very first time that we audit this client. So if that's the case then, so what we should do in our audit report, we may include the previous auditors or the predecessor auditors report in the other matter paragraph. Essentially, it's our choice. And we are aware that the auditor's report on the pipe hit was qualified due to a material misstatement of the trade receivable. So what we need to do, if we decide to include the previous auditor's, uh, previous auditor's report, we also need to include what opinion that the previous auditor has expressed. We've obtained sufficient and appropriate audit evidence regarding the matter, uh, and the matter has now been resolved, and I'm happy to issue an unmodified opinion. But should I refer to the prior year modification in this year's auditor's report? Well, I would say, first of all, I have the sole responsibility giving my audio opinion. So for example, I cannot refer to my expert to help me with the audit, and I can't refer to the service organisations auditors in a ascertaining the service organisation or the, uh, the outsourcing firm's internal controls. I cannot include them in our audit report. But According to the standard ISO 710 for the comparative information, so we may refer to the predecessor auditor's report, including their opinion. And of course, there will be two situations. One is must and one is may. Must is that this will be the initial audit. And may is that is the initial audit we perform on this engagement. Now, of course, both of them would be included into the other matter paragraph in our current year's audit report. Of course, here is our choice okay, to whether or not to include the predecessor auditor's report in our audit report here. Now, of course, it may be included in the other matter paragraph and containing a statement that the previous year's financial statements audited by the previous auditor and the opinion and the date of that report. We need to mention that. And, of course, we will also need to explain the reasons why the previous year's financial statements were modified. We also need to include that if we decide to choose the option to include this matter in the other matter paragraph in the auditor's report. Three marks, three sentences would be absolutely enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to end this section here and hope you find this useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye. A-P-C, accounting for your future.